So we have Mr. Molefe who is a fisherman and he looks at these Thai tables, right? One is on the 28th and one is on the 29th. And we look at the information given to us and consider the questions that follow where it says 1.2.1. Calculate the difference in time between the high tide and the low tide for the morning of January 28th. So let's take note. This is the 28th. So that's the uh, uh, tide table we'll be looking at. Secondly, it says the morning. Now, if you look at the times, the times are written as a.m. and p.m. So a.m. would be the high tide would be this one from the morning and the low tide will be this, this one from the morning. So keeping this information in mind, let's work out from 5.44 all the way to 11.49. So I normally tell students that they must break this up into hours and minutes. Now keep in mind that when your minutes go over 60, it becomes an hour. So you need to keep that in mind when you're doing this kind of method. Uh, but the second thing we need to do is work towards the uh, nearest hour. So if I had to look at 544, my nearest hour would be 6 o'clock. And there, this would be 16 minutes in order for me to reach 6 o'clock. Then, thereafter, I'll work through, through the remaining hours, which will be 6 o'clock to 11 o'clock. That would be 5 hours, because it will be 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Remember, you start from 7, right? And then, because you're counting full hours, so 6 to 7, and therefore you'll say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that will be 5 hours. Then from 11 right, to 11.49, that's the remainder of the minutes left over. And this would be 49 minutes, right? So adding this up, we'll have 5 hours here, right? And then here we'll have 65 minutes. Now, 65 minutes is made up of 1 hour and 5 minutes. Keep that in mind. So we need to add that onto our five hours. So therefore, we have five hours, all right, plus the one hour, plus the five minutes. And that would give us six hours and five minutes. Right, 1.2.2 states, write down the time for a low tide in the afternoon of 29th January in a 24-hour format. So let's look at the 29th. There's our 29th here. We're looking at that. Then we're looking at low tides for the afternoon. Now, remember, the PM is the afternoon. Right, there's our PM there. Right, now once we look at the PM, uh, it's over there, right, we need to convert this into 24 hours. Now, by looking at this, now all we need to do is just drop the PM. So therefore, our answer for this would be 12.18 without the PM because 12.18 in the 24-hour format, if you count it from 1 to 24, 12 will remain as 12. So with, except for there will be no PM. Okay, so in the third question, we are asked to convert the height of the high tide into feet on the 28th of the morning right of the 28th of january that's there and remember it's the morning so on the high tide which would be 1.91 meters so now that we found this out let's write that information down be 1.91 meters okay now we notice something that the given part so the next thing we do is go to the given part now this is the given part the feet is going to centimeter so what we need to do is we need to convert this centimeter here to meter. So let's convert that to meter so we can work in the same units because our height given to us here is in meter. So the first thing we will do is remember we're going from centimeter to meter. So we need to divide by 100, right? Because there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So we take the amount which is 30,48 centimeter divided by 100 and my answer will be 0, 0,3048 meters. So now that we have this, we use what is given, the given part. So it's foot 
or feet is two meters so we got we're going to be working in these units here so we know that one foot is equal to 0, 0,3048 meters so we've converted the centimeter to meter then thereafter we'll be converting two feet so that becomes my x and my height becomes 1,91 so we cross multiply so we start off with the x which will be 0, 0,3048 x is equal to 1 times 1,91 so all I've done is cross multiply let's rewrite this down and simplify the right hand side so we have x is equal to 1,91 so all I need to do is divide by whatever is inside whatever is in front of the x so I've got that there 4,8,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,0,3,